Hey everyone, it's Joe from Cold Bee Farm. I'm kind of excited today. I got a new toy. What I have here is a Probate 110. I decided to take the plunge and to get it. Up until now, I've been using a, a vaporizer from a Man Lake, one of those ones with the little uh, cups in the front. And it just takes forever. It takes like seven minutes a hive. And since I want to do beekeeping as kind of a side business, I need something that's more efficient and I can't be spending seven minutes a hive doing oxalic acid. I do like oxalic acid treatment. It is quick. It doesn't harm the bees as much as some of the other treatments, and you don't have a lot of the residue that remains in the colony, and it's a natural compound, and it's just uh, a good way of controlling the mites quickly. Now, if you have brood in the colony, it's not as effective, but you can do multiple treatments to reduce the population so if you do it a week apart but if you do it a week apart you need something that's quick you can't be spending seven minutes a hive earlier i was treating about 20 hives seven minutes a hive it, it really adds up i mean it, it could be five minutes a hive but by the time you do something else and forget about it come back change it switch it to another hive it just doesn't work very well so i decided to get the probate 110 it looks like this i'm sure you've seen it in a lot of videos it's nothing fancy i was really considering the easy vape i contacted i think his name is john i contacted him and he said that they're sold out for several months and it would be quite a long wait and i really wanted to hit my hives with some oxalic vape again before winter i did do it in august but I want to do it again maybe a couple times here in October. One of the things with the Easy Vape too is it, I watched some videos and it's a little wonky. For the price point, it seems to do a decent job. I want to have something a little more solid. But what we got here, it does plug into a 15 amp outlet. You can't use it with the battery, at least not directly. If you do use it with the battery, you have to get an inverter. I don't have an inverter, but where I'm keeping my bees, I can run a couple extension cords and I should be able to use this. If I start having out yards, I'm going to have to get an inverter and connect it to a car battery from my car and connect it that way. So it has that. It has a, a nice handle on here that is heat protected. And then underneath here, it looks like just a, a metal bar that's uh, bent on an angle. There's a PID control on here and this is the heater so there's going to be a heating element that increases the temperature on here there's going to be a temperature probe inside of here that goes to the pid unit and lets you know what the temperature is and, and keeps that temperature within a certain specified range this cap looks like this and this is what you put the oxalic acid granules into and you would put the dose in there based on how many brood chambers you have in the colony. Pop that in here. This is really tight on here. It needs to be held on there very tightly because when it vaporizes, it creates a lot of pressure and that pressure will pop the cap off. So what you do when you use this is you put this on a flat surface, something like that, and then you would take the vaporizer, pop it in place, push down, and then turn it over and put it into the colony. And as soon as you turn it over, it just starts vaporizing and it takes about 20 seconds. So I'm gonna do a video out in the bee yard with this, but I wanted to kind of do an unboxing. There's not a, a ton in the box. There's a little scoop for oxalic acid. And I have three of these cups for the oxalic acid. And there's a little instruction guide and the instructions say this subliminator, a more accurate term for the vaporizer, but we'll use the term vaporizer as most know it by that name, is strictly for use with a grounded 110 volt three prong socket. You use the probate easy in front of the hive, connect the two parts of the easy together and tighten the connection. 
connect the vaporizer to your one volt power source. I like to use inverter connected to 12 volt battery as it never fails, as maybe a generator would. The inexpensive Sentec power inverters from Harbor Freight work great. It usually takes two minutes to reach operating temperature. The red sequence readout will display 250 when ready. Place the stem of the vaporizer in front of the hive entrance. Then take the included capsule, dip it into the oxalic acid. The dampness of the oxalic acid will hold the oxalic acid in the capsule. Note the capsule is constructed to hold two grams. Slide the capsule into the stem and place your thumb over the stem hole. This holds the steam from escaping. When the capsule descends into the heating chamber, it will release the oxalic acid to start subliminating. The temperature will drop when that occurs. When the temperature rises again to 250, about 20 to 30 seconds later, you're finished. Turn the easy upside down to release the capsule to move on to the next hive. It is not unusual to see temperatures rise above 250 during treatments. This is normal and well within tolerances. The temperature is preset to 250 degrees Celsius. This is a correct setting for the vaporizer. Do not attempt to change it. And then it goes on with some safety information. You must use a respirator that is rated for organic or acid gas. Make sure you buy one with replaceable filters. You are going to work in heavy oxalic acid environment. The 3M full face 680 with 6923 filters is a good choice. Heavy heat resistant gauntlet gloves are a must as well. The vaporizer is a 110 volt electrical appliance, 500 watts, 4.5 amps. Maintenance. After you've completed your treatments, you must clean the bowl with water. Make sure the water flows through the stem. You can do this while the vaporizer is still warm from usage but make sure it is not attached to a power source. This cleaning will prevent a buildup of oxalic acid that may block the stem. A cup of water is sufficient. Turn the vaporizer upside down to point it down to drain any excess water after the water has been flown through the stem. Looks like this is made of copper and then it's wrapped with brass. So that should keep the temperature pretty stable. Down in here is where the temperature probe is and that line runs into the control box. This is where the heating element is connected to. It looks like it connects directly to this brass piece that runs into the control module as well. And that is pretty much it. From what I've seen in reviews, the ProVape 110 seems to be a pretty reliable product. I have seen a few people complaining that the temperature doesn't hold properly or it doesn't reach 250, but it seems like a lot of people like it and it is very efficient. It is very quick. I've seen that they're normally around 700, but when I bought it, it was it was around 500. They, they did have a, a little bit of a sale on it, so I don't know what the normal price on it is, but I, I paid about $500 for it. When you look at the different components, it's quite a bit to pay for this. It doesn't seem like it would cost that much, but I guess they're probably not produced in mass quantities, so that's probably where some of that cost goes. And this control module may cost a decent amount. So that is pretty much it.